Richard Carlson of Carnegie's Department of Terrestrial Magnetism is co-author of research that may help produce a timetable of how our planet was formed over four and one-half billion years ago. The study compares the isotopic composition of silver in meteorites and earth rocks. Results give clues about how Earth acquired its water and other volatiles during its formation. Compared to the solar system as a whole, Earth has less of volatile elements such as hydrogen, carbon, and nitrogen. It also has less of moderately volatile elements such as silver. Silver has two stable isotopes. Silver-107 was produced by the radioactive decay of palladium-107, which is so unstable that it virtually all decayed within the first 30 million years of the solar system. The silver isotopes ratios presented a riddle, suggesting that the Earth's core formed about 5 to 10 million years after the origin of the solar system. This is much earlier than evidence from hafnium and tungsten isotopes that indicate that the core formed between 30 to 100 million years after the origin of the solar system. These contradictory observations can be reconciled if Earth first accreted volatile depleted material until it reached about 85% of its final mass and then accreted volatile rich material in the later stages of its formation about 26 million years after the solar system's origin. The addition of volatile rich material could have occurred in a single event like a giant collision between the proto-Earth and a Mars-sized object. Scientists think that the collision ejected enough material to form the Moon. Even a small amount of volatile rich material could account for all Earth's volatiles, including water. This work was supported by the National Science Foundation and the Carnegie Institution for Science. It is published in the May 13th issue of the journal Science. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.